Where did you just come from? <laughs> Are you, is this starting to kick in? A little bit. Okay. <laughs> so I'm simmering. I'm a lot less cute than I anticipated that I would be by now. Because I expected to be cute and molesting Mr. Between Bites of Amazing, Amazing Chicken Pot Pie. I'm going to show you what I'm doing right quick. Pardon the fan. So these are the goings on. Uh, uh, I have to get too far back with this device. So, but I have my New Year's Black Eyed Peas happening right here. Yeah. Oh, see? That's gonna be sweet. The red onions. I'm gonna boil these with the top off for a little while so that the water can simmer out of More water can simmer out of it. I have a lot of seasonings in there as well. Uh, this is a citrus too that we inhale every time. And this is the beginnings of the. Uh, this is the beginning of the sauce that's going to go on to the chicken pot pie. All oh, the bitches is good and tender. So I'm going to cut them up into cubes. And eventually you're going to see this chicken pot pie. Girl, I just had an idea. Check it. I actually have two of these. No, I don't need two. So two of us. I don't know who I think I'm cutting. Two of these, but I'm gonna make some pot pies, some like little personal pan pot pies. Let me show you how this looks. Make about six little personal pan pot pies. Boom, because they're, they're nice. Pot pies. Put, put in flour, put a little flour, put a little milk in there. Stir that in slowly though, make sure my milk is not bad, and it is. <laughs> So I should have been took one of these out. That's how I separate and kick, freeze my milk. I usually take the top off just until it freezes and then I'll put the top back on there. But let me quit talking and put some, I need to focus, hold on. I know I had a little thing of peas and carrots from the last pot pie that I made. And that should take care of my green that I want in my sauce. I'll explain the recipe to y'all later because it's causing me to get distracted and I'm not trying to fuck this up because I'm trying to fuck this up when it's ready. <laughs> oh, shit. It keeps thickening. Which is good, but I still want it semi-loose because you don't want it so thick that your pot pie winds up being dry. I feel like I want to put broccoli stalks in there. And that'll be more green as well. No. No, nope, not broccoli and green peas. English peas, we're not gonna do it. Girl, don't be doing the most. Normally I would have snow peas uh, julienned up in there. Short juliennes. But my snow pea harvest this year was trash. <laughs> yeah, and for the stock portion, ah, fucked up, that's okay. Cause I still didn't put very much water in. I'm, where I fucked up was instead of using straight water, I I was in such a hurry to get that stuff to stop it from thickening up too stuff uh, too fast. I put water in it, and instead of water, let me start from here. So to thin out this sauce, this white sauce I'm creating for my pie pie, I'm using. A lot of people use water, milk. They use water and milk. But what I do is instead of putting any salt, instead of putting salt in my sauce, pot pie sauce, I use the stock from the actual chicken I baked to use into the stock. I mean the sauce. I'm really mad at myself as this sauce cools down. I'm going to put this these veggies in there to thaw as well. And sometimes instead of milk, I actually use powdered milk. So. Mm -hmm. 
these into the bottom because. But then how's the Popeye gonna be in the right shape, right? Use grapeseed oil just to line the bottom. I feel like I should use a cotton pad for this so I can get in all the crevices so the design can get all together. So I just gave them each a rub down. I think I'm gonna spray butter in the bottom. One spray. Oh, this is not butter. It's just in an old butter, an old, um, we call this processed butter container covered with like grapeseed oil though. But this is actually butter that I'm about to rub into this, the bottom of these pans. You know, you don't need milk in this sauce. They lie. Make a ball. Oh, I shouldn't have did that. I shouldn't have made a ball. Spread it back out. Lies. Do not make a ball, y'all. Do not make a ball. Put that in there. So I don't want to spread it out because they're already it's already thinned out for me. I'm gonna try to get a nice enough circle. And then put it in the, and then squeeze this open part together, and then connect it like that. And then make a bowl after that. That way, it still can stay thin. Yeah, put that in there. Okay, that's nice. I see you. Okay, we out here. Yeah, so just trying to tear a piece off. So you don't have to do so much smushing your own self to line the pan. Next time though, I'm gonna find out how big these need to be. I guess I can find out now. The circumference it needs to have. And I'm gonna line these. I got five. Five of them I got. I got five on it. So that's what we got. to line them, line them in egg whites. Oven's already preheated to 400, 420 actually. I'm gonna make this another day, but I know another day I'll probably add or subtract or vary, uh, offer another variation there. So I'm just gonna record this just in case. Maybe I'll be able to splice it together into in a more easily translated way. So, have my egg whites and I'm going to again oven is preheated I'm going to paint the insides of these stick them in the oven for about two minutes yeah that's right just two minutes one day I'm gonna do a video and make these good just straight through and it's gonna be perfect and it will come out perfect. The circulars in, in the thing and the doohickey is going to come out perfect. I'm going to be able to give y'all a calculation so you can get your little circle, your little pie pie cup even perfectly every time. But not today. Today we're going to work it out. By ear. So that's in there for two minutes. I need to get this, this other. You know what? Where is it? Where is it? I just realized I do have room for another one because I need to move fast because it doesn't start melting. I mean cooking. Like I said, it only needed two minutes, so yeah, so it occurred to me that I do have enough for a sixth one. Hang it with the And I actually could have filled that other one up, but I did. This one here didn't get all the way around, but I got enough. So yeah. As I was talking y'all through how to measure uh, your dough or whatever out for your things, it occurred to me, because I was thinking in my head as I was going, because I'm high. So I was thinking in my head as I was going, I was like, well, you could probably,
I was thinking in my head, you could probably get the lid of a Tupperware piece and use it to cut out circulars, like the lid of this giant jar that I need to wash. You could probably cut out, you know, circular things to fit into those muffin pans. And, if, and you know, and I said, so I would estimate you measure the diameter of it and double it. Because then you can put it over there and then sink it down in there and boom. Or, and then if you need more or less, you'll know after you put it in there, you'll know whether it needs more or less. Anyway, the point is, I was thinking, you, I, you could just probably get the lid of some Tupperware. And I was like, it would have to be big though, right? So I was looking at this, which is the top of the picture. And I was like, that's a pretty good size. Maybe just a slight bit bigger. A slight, a little bit bigger, right? Because I have these. I have things like this. And so I was just talking myself through the process, right? That's a, you know, Tupperware lid. And as I just looked up there, I just saw this big jar lid. But it's not quite as big enough, right? And then while I was talking, when y'all just saw me look over there and do this, I was like, God, stay looking out for me. I am, I am the God's favorite. I'm all, every God, you name, whatever God you worship. I don't care if it's white Jesus. Oh, yeah. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, but I'm their favorite. I'm their favorite. Matter of fact, let me holler at them for a minute. Oh, shit. Cannabis was not gonna let me fuck this up. It was like, oh, girl, you better feel them Popeyes first. You don't, you go nowhere. Take your ass nowhere. Oh, this is what it looks like coming out. They're not done, of course. I still haven't cut up the damn. Oh, look at job. I swear. Get one of these chicken breasts and cut it up. Oh my god, that's delicious. I bet it's tender too. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mmm, mmm. What do you know about that? Mmm. I'm cutting it in cubes. I'm doing the best I can do to cut to cut it in cubes. This shit is tender. It don't want to cut it in cubes. It's like, no, bitch. Are you sure I'm not pulled pork pulled chicken? Are you sure I'm not pulled chicken? So I'm putting these in the bottom of every one. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Putting, giving everybody a generous dose of chicken. Mm-mm, girl. <laughs> mm-mm. And look, none of these things gonna be short on chicken. None of, none of them gonna be short. Pull that one apart a little bit more. They do need to be pulled apart more though if they're gonna be little little pies like this. Yeah, and I want to avoid any of the chewy cartilage parts. And there we go. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. So this is what they look like with the uh, chicken filled in them. And then I'm going to put, fill each of them with fill each of them with this um, my sauce, pop my sauce, and I'm filling each of these to the brim with sauce. Each of them to the brim with a full spoon of sauce, a full serving spoon, full of sauce. Then go through and distribute the rest of that. I'm pouring it all in there, y'all. Here we go. 
and now I'm gonna put the top top layer. And that's the reason why I said, oh, I do have enough dough to make all set. Because where you need a larger diameter to sink into the shape of the pan, the top layer can just go across the top. So that can be just, you could just get a regular Tupperware. Yeah, and cut circles out of it. I can try that now, I think I will. I need to finish unrolling this. I was in such a hurry. And I needed to be. Time was of the essence. I just used a Tupperware lid like I planned. Like I plan had planned to. Like I said I was going to. Oh, that's perfect. That is the perfect size. Wait till y'all see this shit. Wait till y'all see this shit. It's perfect. Oh my God. Oh my God. Just tuck it in there. I gotta spread that one out by hand. That's the all look. That's the one that got the leftovers. It's a good idea to leave the whack one for the middle though, at least. I was thinking I might stick to five, but I could do six and one just not have a cap. So I'm tucking the edges inside the uh, muffin tin. And then I'm gonna cut, no, then I'm gonna paint, paint the whole top with more egg white. That is perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna um, just flatten this up right quick and just stick it on top of there. I'm just gonna lay it on top. I'm just gonna lay it on top like that. Cause I ain't got no sense. Okay, let me paint these. The, I'll paint them all across the top with egg whites. That's going to give it your glaze that you like on there. Make it nice and toasted. I'm actually getting the glaze on this better than I would on just a big pot pie. Matter of fact, then put this bitch in the oven. Like I these are doing extremely well. I've been using the hell out of some garlic. Like, shout out to me. That's a big ass clove, ain't it? No, I cannot see. I mean, I can see, but I gotta scratch my face up to see. That's just, oh, aging, man. I swear. At least I am aging, though, right? I have another an uncle in another state, but I have another relative and uncle in the uh, on the ventilator right now. He's done on New Year's Day. I still didn't use my new gadget. Mister got me a new gadget, y'all. I just cleaned it out today. Girl. Like, and seen on TV, I always got got people's intelligence fucked up. They got my intelligence fucked up. They probably know how gullible everybody else is. But check this. They, they just put that. It's like, look, you don't need to peel the onion. You put the onion in this. Squeeze this thing, and all your whole ass onion gonna come out chopped. Who chops an onion with the skin still on? I'm, anyway, it look like a cool little contraption. It's one of those things, and that's how they get you, but it's one of those things, like, even if it don't work right or well, it's like, it was a cute little try. I don't know. People be balling out on a cute little try, though. Sometimes, off of me. If you want that much garlic in our, our 2021 peas, dude. Cause it's still a lot, bitch. See, it's coming out. I'm just gonna take the excess off. Just to make sure it doesn't tuck some more back in there. Kind of 
squeezed out the top a little bit, a little bit excess. Lord knows I was supposed to be doing my hair right now. Baby, when I tell you. And guess what's going in for flavor? How's the ham? How's the ham in your in your New Year's peak? <laughs> I was just thinking. Let me take a hit before I tell y'all. I'm glad I never threw this little tidbit away. You know, most uh, older generation um, can of smokers know what this is, have seen it, have even used it, but I didn't come up smoking weed so I didn't know I can't say that I knew how to appreciate this little thing but listen let me tell you about my journey to appreciate this thing it's like it's one of the cheapest things you could have you could have ever got at a head shop right it's a pipe right it's a pipe so, like I said, it was one of our earlier contraptions. Ugh. See, that's why I need to focus. It got on my lip. And then for my tongue. And uh, Miss Day gonna appreciate that. Matter of fact, let me get some grapes. <laughs> and wash my hands even. even. They are clean. They don't look like it though, do they? This is a little frost on you know. Frost, not mold. So we use this as a starter. And then we start using glass contraptions. Which at the end of the day, sometimes you just need to go back to basics. Whether it's to appreciate what you've evolved to or to respect what you originally knew to be effective. You went got this so I could use it, right? No. Get this garlic off my lip. I need to get me a tea candle. I hate when it happens, but then I don't hate it. Just as soon as I, t I, I took, I used that, just as soon as I took that, I was like, dang, I think I feel the first one kicking in. But I took it like two hours ago. But it is, it is a fresh batch, so it's a new batch. And usually my new batches, it's a whole other story. Anyway, I was, I was laughing at myself because I was like, I hate when that happens. Because as soon as I took that second dose, I was like, uh-oh. I think the first dose is, I think I feel the first dose kicking in. Cause the reason why I took the second dose is because I really didn't feel the second, first one kick in that much. So I was like, it probably ain't going to do too much. Because if it haven't done nothing in two hours, then, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm in a good place, but I'm not as lit as I wanted to be to celebrate this celebration. Okay? So, um, you know, I waited my two hours because that's my, that's, my, that's my point of efficacy in general. I waited my two hours and I was like, fuck it just now. And I said, oh, I can go a little higher. So I took that dose, but as soon as I took that dose, I felt myself <sighs> ramping up again, which means that my first dose is just kicking in. But hopefully the second dose won't catch up to the first dose for two additional hours. So I should be good, right? See, goddess be letting me know. She's like, don't worry, don't worry. I mean, you'll be high as fuck, well, but don't worry. You're gonna, you gonna manage it, ain't gonna get nothing to it. And plus, your body needed it. I know you're saying she didn't say all that, but she did. She said that's exactly what she said, word for word. 